What's good, YouTube? So look, two things I want to say before we get into this. Number one, TikTok going crazy. If you ain't already following my TikTok, it's going to be right there. It's the same shit as my YouTube name, Mar Boswick, M-A-R-B-O-S-T-W-I-C-K, at TikTok.com. Tap in. Last TikTok going stupid. Next TikTok coming out at 11 p.m. And number two, I just went to Chick-fil-A, right? Just went to Chick-fil-A. And if y'all ain't know, this is really a TikTok drum, right? This is really a TikTok recipe. So look, here's what you need. You're going to need a mac and cheese, right? A mac and cheese and a bowl, an empty bowl, right? You know what I'm saying? You put the mac and cheese into the bowl, right? Boom. Mac and cheese into the bowl. And then, if you want to, you can even add some fries. This is really not the recipe for it, but I'll be adding fries to my shits. Boom. Add some fries to the shits. You know what I'm saying? Eat some fries on the side. You know what I'm saying? Boom, right? And now look, you still keep this, right? The mac and cheese on that's empty now. Because you put it into the bowl. Take your nuggets. I got eight count, you can get five count. It don't matter, bro. Twelve count, it really don't matter, bro. You must be a greedy motherfucker again. Twelve nuggets though, to fill your fucking bowl though. That's a little deep. Um, but yeah, so I put all my shits in there, right? Hold on. Put all my shits in there. Boom. And hey, yo, you get zesty buffalo sauce. I'm using two of these joints so I can so I have a little extra to drizzle on the mac and cheese and my fries and shit. So boom, you pour that into the mac and cheese bowl. Boom. Both them shits into the mac and cheese bowl, right? Boom. Right. Close the mac and cheese bowl. Mac and cheese bowl got three three holes. Put some on it and then shake them up. Shake them up. Shake them up. Shake them up. Boom. Right. Boom. And then you got this. Where the fuck is my fork at? Where the fuck is my fork at? Oh, right here. Boom. Fork. You know what I'm saying? You want to match? You just want to match your shit down. You know what I'm saying? Just make some room. Make some room for your nuggets. Because you want to just pour the nuggets right into the bowl. Boom. And boom. This is your meal. It is absolutely fucking glorious. Almost dropped it on my mic. Anyway. So. Dr. Umar. If you don't know who Dr. Umar is, he's basically... Um... I would classify him as a preacher. Um... You know what I'm saying? More of a spiritual preacher. I don't know too, 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 too much about him. So I may be, I may be fucking it up a little bit, but I, but, um, what I've, what I've seen from him is he's pretty conservative. He's very, very pro-black. And at times he could be anti every other race. You know what I'm saying? So, which means he's very against biracial couples, interracial couples interracial marriage just know that if he catch you with a black girl and you white or if he catch a black girl with a white man or a, or a black man with a white girl shit runs he on your ass it's over so basically the new movies that's coming out uh little mermaid and spider-man across the spiders i'm about to see that shit either tonight or tomorrow i don't know but that shit is gonna be so tough i don't give a fuck about none of that shit um but yeah, but yeah, basically he's saying it's brainwashing our children. So um, just gonna just gonna throw these clips out, and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna share my thoughts afterwards. Did you see um Dr. Umar on IG telling everybody not to go see the movie because Black Spider Man is interested in the Snow Bunny? No, I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh, you want me to read it? To oh, me? yeah. Go ahead. How the hell are you gonna have a black superhero cartoon for our children? And he's lusting and thirsting over the skim milk in the damn trailer. This is insane. How are you going to have a cartoon bunny hopping over the white girl in the cartoon? Lord have mercy. And then what is it? Little Mermaid? They said Little Mermaid is swimming in the milk. She is <laughs> bunny hopping too. Little Mermaid got a snow puppy. Insane, brothers and sisters. We can't even have a cartoon with black on black love. We can't even have a cartoon with black on black love. Spider-Man, bunny hopping. She probably gonna accuse him of smacking her too. Watch. Yo. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Spider-Man across the universe, she gonna accuse him of rape and he gonna go to jail oh my and gonna God. replace him with a white Spider-Man. Watch. That's what's gonna happen. He All right. So I'm gonna pause it right there. Share my thoughts immediately, right? So one, Little Mermaid. If y'all don't know, the the original cast, all white. Everybody. Except for the crab. Literally. And they switched it up. I didn't watch the movie, but I've seen in the trailer the crab is now a woman. Um and Ariel is, is black, played by uh Halle Bailey. Um and but they kept but they kept pretty much everything else. Race wise, gender wise, everything else is the same. And um if you if you always are looking at color 
or if you always are looking at things in a racial like way it's like how can we how can we get to a point as a society when we're not looking at color at all when we're not like holding up to this standard at all like like in my honest opinion dr umar is very very racist and the problem is that a lot of black people think that they can't be racist or or um or like have a certain like grudge on on uh, other races especially white people because of you know slavery obviously racism obviously even racism still today but it's like if you just hold that if you hold that over everyone's head like let's be real gwen stacy is obviously not racist she fuck with miles and if you really and if you really want to um and if you really want to get really deep into it miles in the movie and in the comics he bumped into her his spidey senses went off and that was their instant connection not romantic yet but but then he just started to slowly like fall for her i imagine when they kept visiting each other across the multiverse like bro i'm just saying that race has nothing to do with any of this at all and it's like when you when you are like when you're just so against um races coming together and finding love it's like it makes it racist of its own like you know what i'm saying that's racist in itself and dr umar is a very is a very very racist man in my opinion um you know what i'm saying like he like he's pro-black which is cool but he's also racist like let's be real he don't want nothing to do with the white folk he don't want nothing to do with the black folk in the white folk so yeah i mean he'll explain it to each their own it really don't matter to me but i'm just telling y'all how i see it he gonna get accused of sexual harassment by and this claim is fucking ridiculous miles morales like obviously it's not gonna go there i don't know if he's joking or not but it's obviously not gonna go there miles morales is gonna get a great ending honestly i didn't watch the movie so don't take my word for it I think Gwen Stacy might die in this movie. I, that's just what I think. That's just what I think. Um, this is how it is. They said Gwen Stacy falls for Spider-Man every single Spider-Man iteration, iteration on the poster. And that's facts. Toby? Facts. Andrew Garfield? You know that's facts. She hit her head on the ground. I hope not. Because they're cute. The snow bunny in the cartoon, he's going to go to jail and lose his spidey senses, and they're going to replace him with a snow puppy. The new Spider Man will be a snow puppy. That's what they're going to do. And then it's really the same. Dr. Umar's with it. I'm going to keep it a being. In every other universe, Gwen Stacy falls for Spider Man. That's what I just said. I don't know why it's so low. I told y'all. It's the first time for everything, right? I just think the entitlement of having our race represented in every single thing. Like, think about it like this. Comic book fans, we not even look, we not even talking about race. We don't give a fuck about none of that. They made Iris West black and nobody cared. Nobody cared. It didn't make a difference at all. Um except a lot of people start getting getting respect for grand gus and i see you my nigga i see you my nigga um but nobody is looking at race bro and this is the traditional comic book way this is exactly how it's supposed to be if they changed it would i give a fuck probably not but i'm just saying it's a little unfair when you feel as if we're entitled to change the race and change the story and change the way that people look just because you want to feel included. It's facts. Facts.
Movie. Oh, this movie the real thing. What you think we make up stuff? <laughs> I totally thought you was making this up. <laughs> no. Hey, yo, no. I, I actually love that though. I, I just totally said the same thing. Was for I, real? I thought we was past this. I thought we was past this entirely. You he know put, what I'm saying? I can confirm that this story is about why we wear that, wear that mask. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's mm-hmm. bigger than just the spy. You can look at it as a as a. You can look at it as like Spider-Man, but I relate everything to my reality, you know. Yeah. Um, that mask for me could be basketball, it could be acting, yeah. it could be, you know, uh, having your own radio show mm-hmm. or whatever it is. So these characters are looking past that mask. You know, Gwen and Miles are representing something that's bigger. It's, they're representing right. humanity. You, Their specific story is about spiders and, and their superhero lives and whatever. But right. In this film, we get to see like it's bigger than that, you mm-hmm. know. And it's it's hard to really like. I know because I've walked the black experience where Doctor Umar is coming from and mm-hmm. the key, right. key about it amongst us or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like you know, brother, you, I mean, look how this is unity. You know what I'm saying? Right. The, the world that exactly. we live in, the world that we walk in, especially in New York, it's mm-hmm. not just black, it's not mm-hmm. just white, mm-hmm. it's not just Asian. It's a mixing pot, and that's why this movie. It's special. That's why the kids are gonna go watch it. Yeah. Because because it's about it's about writing your own story. It's yeah. not about somebody telling exactly. you Exactly you know, how your story's supposed to go and what's acceptable. Like live yeah. your life like that. Mm-hmm. Mind Absolutely. your business. Mm-hmm. You know what okay. I'm saying? what you look like telling people not to go watch a movie ab- about about loving yourself mm-hmm. and loving those that love you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and having a future and and being and then intentional. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. And then it's Spider Man. Like, know? look at where we at right like, now. Right. Like, that's let's talk, my the, listen, we can't talk about inclusion and diversity and, and and progress and then get mad when we get it. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yo, let's talk about if we want, you know, some beautiful black love story animations mm-hmm. and et cetera. Mm-hmm. Cool. That this movie. Those exist. What's Kid Cuddy movie called again? Fuck. Intergalactia or something, but um. By the way, um, Doctor Umar, you're not, you're not special needs. You're not dumb. You just are wildly racist, and we disagree. That's just it. That's fine. It's what it is. He allows that to happen. You right. know what I'm saying? Like I could go make something else. Doctor Umar can write something. You know, yeah. what, what do you... <laughs> that would be fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's you. talk about original IP. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. where diversity is going. That's where inclusivity is going. Mm-hmm. You know, right now, we're, we're I'm playing Spider-Man. Like, yeah. how dare you? <laughs> and that's really, really big, and I, I yeah. love that's, it. Miles Morales is already a known character, but putting him in the greatest animated movie of all time? Yes. Yes. It is. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. And they say in part two is even better. It's really big for the black community, putting Miles Morales on that stage. And I'm like, so what if he fucking with the snow bunnies? Nigga, like what? Come on now. <coughs> Y'all spreading too much hate. Y'all gotta start spreading love, bro. Anyway. I'm out of here. Appreciate y'all for watching. If you ain't already subscribe, if you ain't already like the video. And follow the TikTok, yo. We're going crazy. Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah. I'm gonna do my own thing.